Okay, here's the thing. I just want to know, are we suffering from coon fusion? We don't know what's cooning anymore, huh? We can literally sit down there and say, Damien Cameron, right, is a coon. And the job that he holds proves that he's this coon, right? But yet and still, we'll sit around and we'll fucking support Kamara Harris, who had the same job, who's been in that same position, and has came back with the same fucking results. How the fuck does that make sense, people? I need somebody to make that make sense. That's con that's coon fusion. At this point in time, we don't know what cooning is no more. All we know is it's all right to do it up until you get in front of the camera and somebody points you out. We around coon motherfuckers every day. Every day we call it at work, right? We, we everywhere, every fucking way, school, every fucking way, everybody jumping for that fucking opportunity to coon. But you can't call it out. You can't call it out until everybody agrees. We know the coon and shit is going on, but we confused. We, we we don't know what the fuck is cooning no more. Up until somebody says that's cooning. Because here it is, you could have two of the same motherfuckers doing the same fucking jobs. One is a male, one is a female. The only fucking difference in, in age, you know, but what the fuck? You're doing the same job. You've been in the same fucking position. What the fuck happened? Why is that getting the silent treatment? Oh, we can overlook that because we need to get Donnie out the way. How? You're getting another racist in there as well. The only difference between Donnie and these motherfuckers is, is they the devils that you trust. Donnie a bigot. See, he represents the bigot side of racism. A bigot is not the epitome of racism. It's not, I'm sorry to tell y'all that. He's just a faction of it. You got the Karens, right? Isn't she the sly seeking motherfucker that'll sit right next to you? Who's more dangerous? I can guarantee you, you know way more Karens than you know Donnie's. You not going after them. When you at work, you still watching what you're saying and being careful when this, that, and the third tap dancing around it. Getting fired if you approach it. Right? So... We worrying about Donnie, but we are overlooking that these races over here too. So I'm not supporting neither side. I say fuck the whole shit. But the only way to say fuck the whole shit is to point it all out. I don't give a fuck if it's Fox News or CNN. Both of them is working for an agenda and neither one of the agendas is to set you free. So if you are not watching both of those fucking stations to learn the traps and tricks that they playing on you, then you wasting your fucking time because that's the greatest politics, propaganda. So if you really want to understand politics, don't look at the news for what it's saying. Look at the news for what it's promoting, the propaganda in it. And that comes from CNN or Fox. So my entertainment when I watch the news is that. It's not, oh, how they talking and I don't give a fuck because I can turn over here and they using the same jargon, but just for the other team. So I don't really care. I'm looking at the, the, the whole layout, how the fuck is playing out. You dig? So how the fuck are we still suffering from confusion? Everybody is willing to go grab that fucking tambourine like the little monkey and stop. Bing, 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 bing. I call it tambourine. Everybody seems to be jumping for that. We play this, 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 this class game, which is the number one power of a fucking racist. Racism works through classation. 
And so if they install classation within our fucking community, knowing that that's the crab in the barrel right there. And we'll point out the, the, the aftermath of it, but not what it is. We'll talk about, oh yeah, motherfuckers is out here jealous and they hating. But what is that? Where is that coming from? That's coming from that classation. You know, the dude, young kid, you listen to to, to um, um, Meek Mill's song. Where he's talking about he was the young kid and he was just trying to eat, but niggas wasn't letting him try to eat. That's classation. That's what forced him to go and be looked at like he the crab because he mad that niggas is eating. No, I'm mad that you ain't letting me eat. And then when you are letting me eat, it's under your terms where I got to be hateful to my people. You the same motherfuckers that killed my mommy and daddy and I'm befriending you. So I'm hugging the same enemy. So then the cycle continues, right? Classation. So we can't look only inside out the hood and see the problem and ignore it. We got to look at the other side too. Those who walk around with their noses up, they already fed the number one classation because they going through it by looking down on us because they're getting looked down. So they're learning how to pass it on. You know what I'm saying? So then when you got people like Kamara Harris, you know, she out in San Francisco, what she was doing, you literally was in the same situation why today nobody is bringing that up why is the cameron cat the issue wow this is both happening at the same time that's why i know that we're going through coon fusion it can't be nothing else but coon fusion how could it be you watched a fucking dude Violate what we thought was the law, but technically is not. They keep in secrets. And as long as you do that in secret, anything can happen. We know that this is how the court system has trapped black people forever, right? TV, news, whatever, right? And so then we see another black person who actually had the same job going into office, who was in the same position, but we won't call that out. Coon fusion. You don't know what the fuck you really mad about. I look at people post every day about this in um this inconsistency of equality. Right? Oh look, they arrested the, the white kid and he got McDonald's. They stopped the black guy and they killed him. That's crying. That's not what is that saying to them? Okay, cool. Are you saying that to, it's time to go to war? No, because the minute you see the protest and you'll say, no, that's not right. Oh, I don't support that. So which one is it? Are you mad? You saying that you out here, you fighting for the black man and yo, we see you in danger, but no, you're not allowed to fight for yourself. What the fuck is this? We got mixed messages. There's a lot of confusion. You wanna, you want master to know that you mad, but not mad enough that he turn around and say, fuck you. So look, look, man, so I'm not really with them, but you know, you need to hear them, master. You need to hear them. There's rumbling out there, master. So maybe you should just lighten the rings just a bit. You see what I'm trying to say? Nah, hey, yo, listen, we ain't trying to hear this shit no more. And the next fucking thing is going down, is going down. And so I'm saying that too, if we're worried about Cameron, right? Cameron or whatever. And, and if we're worried about Donald Trump and his taxes, why can't we go into that same thing with Kamala Harris's track record? Cause that's what she's saying is based on, right? Her track record. I want to see your track record. I want to see how many times you have went to that grand jury and you performed these same acts yourself. That's all I'm saying. Peace.